Hey guys, my name is Shreyas and welcome to Simple Chemistry. In this video we're going to be exploring average atomic mass and mass spectroscopy. So, what is, what is average atomic mass? You've probably seen this before. If you look at a periodic table here, you might notice that these there's these tiny little numbers here. And you might be wondering, what are those numbers? So we're going to finally talk about what those numbers are in this video. They're actually the average, atom average atomic mass of every element. Okay, so the when scientists start talking about average atomic mass, they set the atomic mass of carbon twelve to exactly twelve. By the way, our average atomic mass is measured in units called AMU. Okay, an abbreviation for um, these are called average um, atomic mass units. You know AMU, and sometimes we abbreviate them to just U like this, little U. Uh, and uh, the atomic mass of carbon-12 was set exactly to 12. Okay, so what scientists did from there is that they took uh, carbon-12. Um, now carbon, they took carbon. Now carbon um, consists of both carbon-12 and carbon-13, as well as some carbon-14. Okay, uh, so it's, it's, it's actually not just pure carbon-12. So they took that and they put it through... Um, an electron beam, which made it remove all its electrons, okay, because the electrons collide with each other, so you just are left with positive ions. Then they pass it through that ion accelerating field and a magnetic field, and what happens is that the last, the least massive ions go to the top, and the most massive ions go to the top and bottom, and they hit a detector plate, and the detector plate said that the ratio of the mass between carbon-13 and carbon-12 was 1.0836. So from there, scientists were able to um, find out what the atomic mass of carbon-13 was. So in order to do that, they took this ratio here, and they multiplied it by the atomic mass of carbon-12, and they got the atomic mass of carbon-13 to be 13.034 um, U. This detector, this uh, mass spectrometer, also told them that the Within the sample, 98.89% of carbon-12, 98.89% uh, of all the carbon was carbon-12, and 1.11% of all the carbon was carbon-13. So from there, they took the mass of carbon-12 and multiplied it by the abundance, and then they added that to the mass of carbon-13 and multiplied it by the abundance in order to get the ato average atomic mass. So they took 12 atomic mass units times uh, 0.9889, which is the abundance of carbon-12, and they took the mass of carbon-12, 13.034, and multiplied it by the abundance, um, and it's being turned into a decimal here, and they got 12.01 atomic mass units. Look here, let's look here, if you look at carbon, uh, let me move up here, uh, if you look at carbon, it's right here, it's kind of cut off, but it is indeed 12.01, okay? And they did this process over and over again using different uh, uh, elements, and they eventually found the atomic mass of every element that we see uh, on the periodic table. Okay, so that's everything you have to know about average atomic mass. From this information, we're going to uh, be... Uh, I, this might not make any sense, it might look so pointless, but we're going to be uh, using atomic ma average atomic mass to... Uh, as a basis for all the stoichiometry. So make sure you understand this concept. It's as simple as that.